All right, Alyssa, thank you. Well, earlier this week, State Senator Shannon Grove sent a letter to Governor Gavin Newsom talking about how churches should reopen as a part of the phase two movement starting today. This morning, she's joining us to talk about that and more about opening up Kern County and the state of California. Good morning, Senator Grove. Good morning, Danielle. Thank you for having me on. Thanks for joining us so early. So first off, how are you and your family doing during the pandemic? Let's talk about that first. Uh, completely blessed. Um, been, you know, our family is healthy. Our daughter is a hospice nurse and um, uh, one is a small business owner. And so everybody's still just hanging in there and doing good. So thank you for asking. Oh, good. That's good to hear. First off today, obviously a big day for the state of California as we prepare to enter phase two of reopening. What are you hoping to see come out of this for the Central Valley and Kern County here? Well, I've always um, I've asked for the governor uh, for the last few weeks to make it not a one size fits all for the entire state because Kern County, what works for us here locally is not going to work for Los Angeles and we shouldn't be lumped into a Los Angeles or San Francisco scenario scenario either. So I've been pushing the governor to allow local authorities and local control and I have to give our local uh, big kudos and I'm very proud of Matt Constantine and the Department of Public Health. Here and go our mayor, our county board of supervisors, our sheriff and our district attorney who has worked really, really well with myself and um, and all of us together as a collaboration to try to ease some of the restrictions that we have here in Kern County, but still abiding by the governor's uh, stay at home order, which is a statewide order. Um, so I'm really proud of them as well. This morning, we're getting new unemployment numbers. It reached the highest rate since the Great Depression. The department, the U.S. Labor Department reporting it hit 14.7% in April, which is 10% more than the month prior to that. What are you thinking are some ways that we can start to combat this issue because it keeps growing? So I think we definitely need to do, uh, to do our part to protect this health and safety of individuals around us. But Kern County needs to open up. It's uh, we need to be have the authorization from the governor to be able to open up our community. Like I said earlier, we're different than Los Angeles or San Francisco. We need to be able to open up businesses. And, and I've told the governor several times that his stay at home order uh, doesn't make a lot of sense. You can buy clothes at Target or Walmart. I know there's food products there, but you can't buy clothes at Macy's or the mall. Um, you can open up safely with social distancing, maintaining the CDC guidelines and still allow our businesses to open up. Now, when the uh, local county public health department rescinded the order that was issued on April 2nd, it did not eliminate the governor's um, stay at home order. That's a statewide governor thing that has to be done. But it did say that local law enforcement and um, we wouldn't enforce the governor's order. But the governor still has um, authority over businesses through ABC, liquor licenses, cosmetology, barber and cosmetology licenses, and the state still can come in and remove those or strip you of those uh, those resources that you need to be able to operate. So that's the difference in what's going on with what the governor's doing and what our local leaders are doing. So you and several other senators have talked about reopening houses of worship in the state in this second phase of reopening California. Can you explain to us why you feel this is so important to do starting in second phase? Well, I mean, if you're going to open schools and retail and manufacturing, there's no reason why you couldn't open houses of worship. You know, they're protected under the First Amendment. And what's really sad is that the governor didn't even give an option. So there wasn't even an option for them to say, look, we can maintain social distancing. We can have additional services. We can do temperature checks. We can wear masks. There's not even an option to be able to address some of the issues, some of the things that they can do to mitigate any contact or any virus spread. And, you know, when you have people in our community that are hurting, that are suffering from isolation, domestic violence, uh, you know, uh, higher alcoholism, just the things that the shelter in place, the side effects or the, sh the, um, the side effects of the shelter in place, we need the faith community to come alongside us um, and people that are struggling with this and people need that fellowship. Uh, I think the church will play a vital role in the um, aftermath of, of all the things that are going on with the shelter in place or the stay at home order. And it's, you know, the depression issues and just the fellowship that you need. And like I said, they have a constitutional right to be able to operate and not have their religious freedoms infringed, infringed upon. So um, I think it's very important. And, you know, going back a little bit to the, what you said about the unemployment issue, 
4.3 million Californians are out of work because of this stay at home order. And I'm very disappointed. And I did a, uh, write a letter to the governor signed by a lot of my colleagues about the unemployment um, system. So they're unemployed at no fault of their own, but they're still waiting weeks for their unemployment insurance because of long phone calls, long wait lines, crashes in the system. And so I'm very disappointed that the state was not prepared to make sure that people would be able to get their unemployment. Um, so that they could provide for their families when they're removed from them because of the stay-at-home order. I want to ask a little bit more about Bakersfield here. Noriega is one of the family-owned restaurants here that announced they will not be reopening after this. What is your concern with more long-standing family-owned businesses here in Bakersfield? Are you getting reaction from local business owners on that? I am actually, it just breaks my heart that Noriega's isn't going to be opening in my district as well. We have the Dutch Frontier that's been in business for 55 years. It isn't going to be opening. I talked to Rod at Pyrenees for a lengthy time the other day and the struggles that um, the family dining and our historic Basque community is going to struggle with on reopening um, and maintaining the CDC guidelines or what the governor is demanding. I, you know, there's, there's a huge issue going on right there. And I just think that I think no one, not any restaurant owner, not a pastor, no one in, in Kern County wants to make sure, wants this virus to spread, no one. So I think if we all take personal responsibility and we're able to enter these either houses of worships or restaurants and we take personal responsibility and the owners of these facilities make sure that they do their part to make sure that we keep the health and safety number one priority but still be able to service the customers or the congregants that come into the facilities. I think that we could do this in a very good way. It's just that the governor is putting guidelines in place under the stage two opening that restrict us from moving forward um, and meeting that criteria. It's, it's almost impossible to meet. Last question I wanna ask, do you have a message for your hometown as we begin to enter phase two of reopening today? You know, we can get this, we can get through this. We're Kern County. I often say that the only thing wrong with our county is that we're surrounded by California. We're resilient, we're innovators, we're oil, we feed and fuel the nation, and we can get through this and we're in this together. And your county and local elected officials, and I know our Congressman Kevin McCarthy, Vince Vong and myself, we're working hard to make sure that we do everything we can to make sure that Kern County's economic vitality returns and that um, we keep health and safety as a focus. State Senate Leader Shannon Grove, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Danielle. Have Absolutely. a great day. You too. We're going to have all of that on our website, turn to 23com